No, no, not that type of asteroid. Asteroid hyalosis is a condition of the eye that may look impressive, but is generally of no clinical significance. In this video, we'll give you a history of the disease, some basic findings, and how it may interfere with an exam and surgically, and what can be done about it. Previously called Benson's disease, it was first described by Benson in 1894 and is characterized by numerous objects floating in the vitreous, the back of the eye, that are reminiscent of celestial objects in the night sky, hence the name asteroid bodies. While the appearance is impressive, and the examiner has a hard time seeing the retina and the back of the eye as a result, for patients with asteroid hyalosis, it has typically a minor impact on vision, and most patients are not significantly disturbed, though they do occasionally see floaters. Rarely, other diseases could look similar to asteroid hyalosis, such as vitritis or rare cancers like lymphoma, so those must always be in the differential. The incidence of the disease is pretty rare, estimated to be between 1 and 2% in the general population, and typically it's only found in one eye. For an examiner, asteroid hyalosis makes it difficult to see the back of the eye and the retina, making it harder to diagnose other diseases due to the presence of the asteroid bodies. Interestingly, for patients, their view from inside the eye to the outside is unaffected, thought to be related to the shape of the asteroid bodies themselves. Since the examiner can't see the back of the eye, other methods are often needed. Ultrasound can help view the retina as we see in this example, letting us see what's behind the asteroid bodies. Fluorescein angiography is another option, where fluorescence allows a view from the back of the eye, minimizing the view of the asteroid bodies. Here we see a view to the fundus that is very poor, but using fluorescein angiography, the retina outline, hemorrhage, and lesions can easily be seen. Finally, optical coherence tomography is also a possible method to view the retina when the normal view is obscured by the asteroid bodies. Here we see these tiny flecks of asteroid even picked up on the OCT with the retina clearly visible. In regards to surgery, when someone undergoes cataract surgery with asteroid hyalosis in their eye, surgeons need to be aware that axial length measurements could be affected by the presence of asteroid bodies, leading to unpredictable prescriptions after surgery. The material of the lens can also make a difference, as reports have occurred of calcifications after implanting silicone intraocular lenses in patients with asteroid hyalosis, so care must be given to consider the type of lens material implanted. Asteroid bodies have also been identified in animals, including dogs and rabbits, and it's suspected they are made of phospholipids in a liquid state after X-ray spectroscopy studies. Rarely, surgery can be undertaken for asteroid hyalosis in patients that are significantly affected. Here we see a video from a surgeon removing the asteroids from the back of the eye, improving the patient's symptoms. For further information, please see the references below.